So you you got a farm. Yeah. So yep. you're a farmer. No, no. Farming is uh that's a job. Yeah. I'm definitely a hobby farmer. If I'm a, if you you're going to classify farmers. me as Do you hire farmers. Yeah, we had uh farmers uh farmer Phil, man. Phil and Gus. <laughs> His name is not Farmer, farmer Phil. Yeah, so I don't know if you watched that DeKalb <laughs> commercial we just had uh, uh you know been doing some online um and twitter and stuff like that it's so funny he's so dry and, and quiet and and talks real slow he's like he's farmer phil man <laughs> uh funniest story that this is true too they came over and and wanted to to farm you know the ground when i first bought the place and and i i needed it done and didn't know anybody around here and met these old boys they come over with a case of beer well, when I woke up the next morning, Gus was sleeping in the bucket of his tractor. Oh, dang. <laughs> True story. <laughs> I went out there to check on Farmer Phil and Gus, and uh, Gus was, was in bed in the bucket of the tractor. Well, when you're surveying your options and you know that there's not many, the bucket of the tractor probably is going to be the most comfortable. That is not it a good like option. Seems like he's done that before. Yeah. <laughs> So you're not a farmer. So you're kind of part time. See, cause I'm I'm kind of the same way. I got the four buffalo that people gave to me that are still on my property. We've had we've had longhorn steers that have came through and <laughs> yeah, they're no longer no longer with us. Um, are you? Do you have any animals? Oh yeah. Well, when you have kit, you'll see. Wait till your animal, your wife and your daughters. They're soon gonna gang up on you. You have this farm that you talk about. You think. You have animals. You wait till they start rescuing is what oh, happens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll start rescuing everything. You'll have cats. Was your cats wife are... always into rescuing animals? No, or is not until we have, had a child. Oh, we got a farm. got a barn. Yeah. You got you got, you got stalls in the barn. You got to fill it. Huh. You got to put these animals in there. She got into pigs. Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Let me give you a little Leah. bit of yeah. advice. Do not allow your wife to convince you that we ought to have pigs how come if you want one pig have one pig why i was gone her and my old man thought it was a good idea that he needed a girlfriend oh well, let yes. me tell lady you. pigs are tough oh up to i, I think a litter of, of nine or no, 13 nine or 13 or something three times a year jack wow, <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh, really you enter the pig oh. business very fast very fast <laughs> well i got out of the pig business very fast I put a stop to that. The girlfriend was gone, and he was out on jack stands, <laughs> <laughs> which is a smoker pit. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. We had goats, and I finally convinced uh, Amy to, <laughs> to let me send them over to this other guy who had more goats. And then, uh, But we had this little horse, and uh, Amy's like, man, it's sad. I'm like, how can you tell it's sad? She's like, it just by itself, it needs a companion. A companion. I'm like, what if that companion comes to start biting it in the ass every day and then kicking it and and uh, annoying the shit out of it? Maybe it's, it's called perfectly, marriage. Maybe it's perfectly <laughs> happy, you know, being by itself. And so funny. now we have a another 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 horse, a donkey. All right. So you you said you wait got, a minute. So do you, you have we a, have a mini horse with a with a regular sized donkey. Do you think the mini horse think it's a jackass now or? <sighs> Like if the only thing you see is a jackass, yeah. do you it thinks it's a jackass? Yes. Do you well, think that it mated with a with a donkey a long time ago? So I, maybe it does. Good grief! Yeah, <laughs> that's some. You that, have a lot of interesting a, things happen on a farm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got we rescued the the donkey dad and the mini horse and its offspring. The donkey dad's gone. The offspring's gone. They left together somewhere, <laughs> but the mini horse stayed. It's got these bad back legs, so we just kind of take taking care of it. And it's been she's been by herself forever. And since we've had our child, Amy has gotten more. I don't know how to put this without pissing her off, but she's gotten more into rescues. What and did I just? He just I said just it. said it. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm telling you, it's right. gonna happen. Dude, every we're driving down. Uh, we're driving down the road the other day, and this guy was manhandling his dogs, and she rolled the window down and gave him a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, "Holy crap!" I mean, she's serious. She Wait till the little ones grows up; they'll start. Ah, oh, it's but, it's yeah. coming, buddy. I'm telling you, you're gonna rescue everything. I know. I but think the I've, pig, the, the fascination with the pigs, did not happen because of a rescue, though, right? You weren't rescuing pigs. The kids wanted a pig. We had a pig, okay. right? It's, it was as simple as that. And, I mean, I raised this pig in the kitchen from a baby. Like it sucked. 
Two times a night, I'd get up and feed it with a syringe because it was all of its uh, siblings died. I didn't know anything about pigs. Apparently, they'll freeze to death. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were all froze. And that one, uh, I got up on Christmas Day, and it was thir- I think it was 13 of them, whatever, however many there was. They were all out there squealing. I'm like, Muh. I went back in the house. I'm like, Laura, guess how many pigs are in there? They've hatched again. Gosh almighty. There's pigs everywhere. I went back out there after we ate dinner uh, to check on them, and they were all gone. I couldn't find them. I was like, there's no, where this, where's the pigs? And I read, I thought I'd read where, like, they'll eat their, their offspring yeah. or something. So I'm like, my God, there's blood everywhere somewhere. <laughs> this thing's a savage. And they were all, no, nah, didn't, they didn't make it. Well, I picked this one up, and... It kind of started moving a little bit, so I read, would do what everybody, every farmer does, picked up the phone and Googled how mm-hmm. to rescue a right, pig, right, right. went in and put it in a, warmed it up in a, in a heat pad, and literally within five seconds, that thing was standing on the kitchen counter. I'm like, wow. It, it was unbelievable. It brought like, it back to life. Yes. So June's the only one left. Well, I, I guess my point on this is it's one thing to rescue and, and to take in miniature horses that have bad legs but to take in pigs that taste so damn good at the end of the day that's that'd be hard to ask clint boyer to do and it not end the way we would all predict it to end it's the funniest thing though is the kids start liking it everything's a pet then like it is i know you know we've got cattle out on the ground you're like hey (laughs) that's pretty good eating right there boy (laughs) every day what do you mean (laughs) what do you mean Uh, (laughs) lots of good you like that steak don't you some good eaters out there I wanted nah. to send the uh, buffalo to Newman, and uh, she wouldn't let me do that because she thinks that Newman sells his buffalo for meat. I'm sure he does. Yeah, because he has buffalo farm. He does. Yeah. That's in- what. Just to be clear, most farmers boys do that. Okay. I mean, they're not. They're not it's not a pet farm. Yeah. It's a. They don't a- have wives that rescue animals. Well, <laughs> the key word here is rescue. Once yeah. you rescue yep. an animal, that animal. Trust me. In our you think Dale Jr.'s wife is ever going to let you harvest one no, of her no. animals? L- listen, I, I, I don't I, care if it's got bad legs or not. That animal is the safest, <laughs> safe. well-cared-for <laughs> animal ever it's in like the history of animals. No, I get it. I mean, listen, I'm with you because we had chickens. And you know where we went wrong? When my wife gave the chickens names. When oh, you give them a name, yeah. oh, when you yeah. give them a name, they're in for good. That's right. As a matter of fact, we had a promotion with a sponsor where – you could put your name on Dale Jr.'s car, and so it had like 50,000 names on it. Yeah. I had three chickens on that car. Their but names were on that car. we all grew up, you know, I mean, you start tearing a good ribeye, and the old boy's going, Grandpa's going, hey, old Fred's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Can't say that. <laughs> Fred. Yeah. I bet his old brother's going to be good, too. Did the pig that ended up in the smoker have a name? <laughs> oh no come on it did yeah, didn't it yeah it did have you smoked a whole pig you do that right i don't I have not tried to smoke a whole pig. so patty is built uh is it it's like a dutch oven thing or something i gotta try that that's that's the way to do Who? it uh brian patty yeah he built one um it, it actually cooks underneath or something and, and the coals are on top of it it's it's bitching it's the way mm. to do it well he does whole pigs yeah really yeah i've never tried to do a whole one i can hardly get ribs right um, I'm pretty good with brisket. My you, whole problem with all of that is that's a drinking event. It is. What's you wrong know with that. Well, yeah. by the t- I sometimes forget it's on there. You ever do that? <laughs> sometimes I forget to check the temperature, uh, or yeah, yeah, I, or well, I forget how to regulate the temperature. I'm like the damn thing's going up and down. And but you smoke a pig for like a day or two, don't you? I mean, like it wouldn't be like if you, you can take it, as long as you want, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, there's no question. But you can, then you you you've lost interest. You've lost your crowd. You know what I mean? Oh, you yeah. get all excited about smoking. Smoking is an event. They're sleeping there is in the nothing bucket. more fun. Then the anticipation, the excitement of getting the Traeger all fired up, oh, getting yeah. your pellets good, you got all the spices, all the sauce, everything's ready to go, people are coming over. Well, you're getting the pool ready, you're getting this ready, you're filling the cooler, you got all your events set up. 
Well, then you forgot to put the meat on, and it's five hours past <laughs> then. Now, fast forward, you're about half tuned up. It's 7 o'clock at night. Your old lady's hot on your tail. Hey, we're all hungry. Well, we uh, got two more hours. Showing it's at least two hours. <laughs> now you've lost your crowd. Everybody's yeah. leaving. Kids are screaming. They're hungry. You have blew the whole day. <laughs> it's exactly how it goes it's every kinda, time. Because I, I, won't, I won't smoke through the night. Like, you know, if you're going to have... You know, right. if you're gonna have barbecue at lunch, you gotta start smoking at midnight or yep. in the middle of the night. I won't do it. I just I'm Or you'll you'll do it. Or all right, fix this deal. I'm starting at midnight. Yeah. Uh oh. By noon you're in bad trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't been to bed yet. Your wife's mad at you. She can't tell who you are. You can't you don't know who you are. <laughs> this is farming with Clint Boyer. <laughs> It all goes back to drinking. Next episode, that is Boyer talks about his real cats. Life. Yeah, <laughs> you can't tell me there's there's not anybody that has entered the world of of smoking meat uh, that does, doesn't experience that same thing. Sure, I mean, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah. We get Sunday. Sundays is our day off, right? You get home, you're all wound up from a Saturday night race, and, and everybody's coming over the pool. You got it all lined out. That's the night that's dangerous. You're already running lean. You're down on 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 fluids anyway so you get that meat started get everything established get going on that and uh yeah by three or four or five you're you're starting to run low on on fuel yourself and it's the the food's no good the next day so look this guy is about to turn 40 i believe now what do you before you give us your key word there about damn it what what does what does a clint boyer birthday with on a significant milestone birthday what do you think it ends up like on the 40th i mean the the 40th 40th is the birthday you know because 50 is not going to be a razor 40 is (laughs) and it's kind of the last it's it's the last big one um it, I mean, it'll be – he'll need a lot of motors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I imagine it'll be a giant concert, like a really good act, probably Blake and somebody that Blake knows. And Blake's got to be showing up for this, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but it ain't yeah. going to be just Blake because he's he sees Blake enough. Um, That's right. So it'll be – so Blake will bring some big names. I mean, it'll be one you won't want to miss. Okay, how, how close is he? I think 40 – I think he's right on the 40 deal, and, and he, he knows it better than anybody. He is that. But uh, – um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be 45 this year. 45 years old. Man, You're no, halfway it's crazy. over. I don't even look even uh, dude, over 50 30, years I don't look old. a day over 35. Well. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it, and I think he is right. I mean, that's that last one. You're like, man, you got to blow it out. Because yeah. you're starting – hey, at 30, it hit me at 34. It's like you wake up the next morning, hey, what the hell was that? <laughs> I mean, them hangovers hurt. Mm-hmm. They, and by 40 years old, they hurt bad. And you start – I think by 40, you start realizing that it's not worth it anymore. Um, kind of, right? But uh, Well, we'll uh, find out. No, we I'm looking forward to it. We're going down – uh, to the Bahamas and and just got a group of Whoa. people and yeah, gonna have it's some planned. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, so, so, okay. So is Blake going? I'm not in on the surprise as much. You know, you're are, not are in you on a the surprise planning? guy. I no, I don't plan anything. Yeah, so you, you don't know what I think. Going. The you worst don't, mistake you just know in where life. You're going? That's all that needs to be planned. You just know the where you're going. The worst mistake in life is a plan. Well, who's planning it then? If it's not you, who's planning it? All we, my wife uh, okay. and my brother and everybody was kind of in on on you know I just said hey let's go down there let's let's yeah let's do that and then from there what happens it's like happens. anything you can't plan a party how many parties have you tried to plan and they suck uh I don't know I plan a the lot the best times are always just yeah. happen oh yeah always spontaneous ones yeah that's that's the that's for me the most memorable things that have ever happened to me are just things you either wake up like. How in the hell did that happen? Well, you got to plan a little bit because if you end up with people there that you don't want, well, I don't think there. he's got to worry about that going to where are you going, Bahamas, Jamaica. Well, yeah, but you How end do you up, end up with, anywhere with people you don't want. Well, that's never happened to you. No. Oh my gosh. And I can tell you this: you've I've I, had a few I, parties th- where that's happened, and you were there. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that means you saw it happen. Oh, he's not the one that oh, you didn't want. Well, oh, I thought that's what that meant. Appreciate you. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what you said. That's what it sounded yeah. like, yeah. I okay. remember that party came so, to so mind. So you're saying people. there are people that Clint was at that he should know about. Like, it should come to his mind. that You remember? I want, he's don't, been to a few parties where that's happened, is what I mean. I would say there's got to be other race car drivers that show up at parties that nobody what wants I, to be around. This is a funny Oh, no, no, no. 
Well, Even if you like, uh, so sometimes race car drivers show up to parties, and you're even if you hate them, you're like, "Damn, he's here." <laughs> have you ever? I mean, you've had you've been enough parties where I think I I am the personality, or I have the personality of it, it. Really doesn't matter if I hate them or not. Yeah, I'm gonna pick on them enough that we're gonna figure it out. Right. Even literally, it's put the put the hate card down for the day. I remember Jeff Gordon. I mean, this is recent, right after. That deal happened Phoenix? in Phoenix. Oh, I- we're down with Kevin Harvick and I and, and Guy Fietti, where we walk on this huge, massive boat down in St. Bart's. It's P. Diddy's boat. And Guy, thank God, Guy has crazy, terrible, god awful hair. They recognized him. <laughs> Didn't recognize Harvick and I, but they recognized the cooking guy. <laughs> so we get on this big yacht and, and roll in there, and we're pretty worse for the wear. And the first person I see is Jeff Gordon in in Ingrid, and I'm like, "Hey, Harvick, we're we're feeling pretty good, feeling yeah. no pain." I said, "Watch this." I go over and grab him in a headlock and start acting like I'm punching him, and Ingrid's flipping out. Oh my god! Oh, wow. <laughs> Even Gordon is like, "Oh, dude, what what are you doing? I, I didn't mean it." Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, "Dude, I'm just kidding. Let's have some fun." But I'm gonna go back to hating you tomorrow. I mean, that's just the way it's supposed to be, right? If if you're going to enjoy a, a good time, how do you let somebody drag your good time down? There's no possible way. Yeah. There's got to be one time when you've been in a fight at a party or something like that. You've it's, never been in a fight at a party. I think everybody has those deals. But for me, it's like, dude, if you're not going to have fun, get the hell out of here. What You know, we're here to have fun. Don't be an ass. Yeah. I got to I got to Don't imagine. be the ass. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's the thing is is – you want to make sure that everybody's having fun. And for me, when I have something going on, that's that's what I try to do is, you know, you're so focused on making sure everybody's having a good time that <laughs> I don't have any time for it. That's usually how all the um, – that's usually how all the – if I had a bad relationship with a driver or even another crew chief or somebody, whoever I might have pissed off at some point in my career, it always got patched up when we would be find ourselves somewhere drinking beer. You're gonna be like, "Hey, man, I, I forget about that crap." Yeah, you know, because that's the first thing they want to bring up. I'm over it. Like, why mm. would you bring that up? This yeah. is a good time. You see this here, sir? This is a good time. Yeah. Last thing I want to do is talk about you pissing me off last week. <laughs> <laughs>